friends, 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 friends. What would life be without you? Having kept you so long tonight, Mr. Ken and I will not play anymore. Instead, I beg of you just a couple of minutes to say a few words. I think that the most challenging task of mankind is to sustain life. And what we are doing here is trying to make that life a little more special, a little more meaningful. Everyone here has done something. Just by your act and of being here, your act of presence already says a lot. What we have started is trying to make a cultural heritage for our, not only for our city, but for our country as well. They say that civilizations are judged by the level of artistic excellence that they reach. Now, many civilizations have orchestras, and many of them have been for over a hundred years old. We know that most famous ones, of course, Vienna, New York, London, and just over lunch today, I found out from Mr. Patten that even Finland, Helsinki's orchestra is 114 years old. And it's just a small country of 5 million. And not only that, he says every city in his country has an orchestra. So there are 12 cities, and they have 20 orchestras because some cities have two or three of them. So what we are trying to do is uh, to help the young that you heard earlier to give expression to what they have to give. Many times we have shed tears when we have seen children under stress and in pain. I think tonight we would also shed tears of joy seeing the three young performers that we heard earlier. And uh, without you, they would not have had this chance. I would like to acknowledge the teacher that taught these three violins is Mr. Rodel Flores. I think he's around. <laughs> he is as well the conductor of the Sabuyu Symphony Orchestra. Now, the evening would not be complete without my acknowledging Mr. Tateno who is, I think, the highest specimen of humanity. <laughs> this is his fifth visit to Cebu, and all times he has waived his honorarium. The first four times, nothing, never, never, he never asked for anything. And it was the only way that we could make his concerts accessible to as many as possible in our community. So what we did was we tried to get a few sponsors and then we opened the concert to our students, their parents, other students from other schools, other teachers, other piano teachers, other music teachers, and so on. And we were just happy to break even because as you know, to present a concert always takes some expenses even if there is no honorarium, sad to say. Now, this time, we wanted to start a scholarship fundraising activity with Mr. Tufena's concert. And whatever we gain from this uh, activity, we would like to open a Tateno Scholarship Fund. back he will see the progress of these young children. His last visit here he brought his own son, 20 year old Yane, who is a violinist and they interacted with our own young violinists. So, so much is already happening from nothing. We have interacted with uh, musicians from Manila as well and uh, like I said when we started we had nothing, we had no instruments, we had no teachers, we only had faith and vision and a kind of mission. We knew we wanted to do something for the community. We knew we wanted to do something meaningful. 
and we knew we wanted to have a direction and a goal and a time frame. So our time frame has been a 10-year music development program and we have reached halfway, thank God. And from here on, we need the help of the community. So with this, I make an appeal for you. Like uh, I said, most of us do remember those who have much, much less in life. We help those who have problems with drugs, street children, deaf and down, all the calamities, all the disasters. But sometimes we forget the treasures among us. And these are the treasures that will help us build the heritage. So I appeal to you to remember them. And uh, with that, again, from the bottom of my heart, I thank you just by the act of your being here. The help will come later, it doesn't have to be now. We need the audience as well, we are trying to develop that, so you don't have to feel committed to help. If you are not ready to help yet, it's okay. We need the audience, and uh, that's where you come in as well. Um, actually, Mr. Coteno is a man of very, very, very few words, but uh, he does not know this, but I do not want to let you go without saying at least two or three words. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. But I shall say, no. I, I give all my heart to the Jesus piano. <laughs> And uh, also in which uh, uh, this is a great experience for me to play with uh, uh, such an excellent artist. And uh, I'm very happy uh, to be here again and to play to you and uh, to listen to those young, talented artists this night. I was so very, very, very impressed with that pain. And uh, I believe uh, here in Cebu, who soon have uh, very good orchestras in the future. And uh, I think I in uh, my uh, heart all the time with uh, with this orchestra broken. Dozens and dozens of uh, piano sonatas, a lot of chamber music. He is in that kind of level. And with much audacity, yesterday I asked him if he would be our first soloist for the Cebu Youth Symphony Orchestra in a Beethoven concerto number one yesterday, and he said he would. because unprecedentedly, our orchestra played Beethoven Symphony No. 1 last October. They have played Nabucco Overture, they have played Vivaldi Spring, right now they are studying a Mozart Overture and a Mozart Symphony. So I feel very confident that in a year's time, we will have a great concert. Beethoven Concerto No. 1 with Mr. Tatena. Just one last thing, I would again like to acknowledge, like Mrs. Susan Sala acknowledged right at the beginning, we have a newfound partner in the oldest foreign bank in the Philippines, and that's Standard Chartered. They have committed uh, continuing support to us, starting with this concert, 
another one in Manila and some more to come. So this is the kind of partnership we are seeking in the business community. So we thank Shadri Banki. There are like I started in the beginning, I said friends, 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 friends. And you cannot imagine how happy we all are to see your faces here tonight. And I hope you will be with us always. Thank you very, very much.